What's up you guys? It's Alex, your favorite interior design guru. If you're new to my channel, I'm so happy you've stumbled across my page. Please, at the end of this video, I urge you to check out the rest of my content and do not be shy to click that subscribe button. I recently completed five new show homes doing all of the selections and staging. So that's picking out all of the countertops, flooring, cabinets, as well as all of the furniture for the staging and accessories. This video will be part one of a five part series where I'll walk you through each one of my new show homes and explain to you a little bit about the process of planning a show home right down to staging um, and how the execution of everything comes together. I really hope you guys enjoy. I'll be featuring in today's video is one of my absolute favorites. It's a three bedroom, two bathroom condo with full built in appliances and a chef's pantry. I really wanted to create a design that felt classic but was still really high impact for all of the show home traffic we have coming through the space. This unit is one of our more upgraded models so I really wanted to make sure that I highlighted and showcased all of the different areas our homeowners can upgrade. The first step in the process of creating a show home is making all of the material selections. I find the easy the easiest way to start off this process is grabbing a few inspirational photos from the internet and then building the palette from there. When it comes to finishes in this unit, I tried to keep it quite rich and warm, selecting a lot of wood tones, as well as in the cabinets I wanted that high impact item, so I selected a darker blue shade for most of the kitchen cabinetry as well as the ensuite and main bathroom cabinetry. The one area where I went with a different color of cabinet was actually for the island. I really wanted to do this to help create a little bit of levity in the space and give something that wasn't also a dark finish. I also selected white for the countertop and backsplash. I loved using this quartz in both applications for countertop and then flowing up into the backsplash as well. I found this was a really great way to brighten the space. A lot of my clients have a hard time with mixing finishes so it was really important to me in this show home to show a variety of metal finishes from golds in the cabinetry handles to silver on the appliances, as well as black in some of the other fixtures throughout the home. The next phase of this design was actually creating the staging mood boards. My favorite way to create a mood board is taking all of my furniture selections and putting them together on one page for each room. This allows me to view all of my furniture together in one place and just see how well everything works together. This is my go-to process for any design. If you're doing a small renovation in your home or if you're just looking to switch up your space, I always go back to the mood board process because it helps you see everything together in one spot. And then I also find it saves you time and money because you're not purchasing something not knowing if it's gonna work with everything else in your home or not. Prior to purchasing any of the furniture I always like to do space planning as well. What this entails is either drawing it out on graph paper or putting it into a design software like I do. This allows you to see the size of all of your furniture pieces together in your space and make cuts on anything that isn't going to quite fit or if it's looking a little too small, you can swap it out for something a little larger scale. Following all of the preparation work, it is such a great feeling walking into a space and seeing all of the finishes complete just the way you had visualized in your mind. This was definitely the case in this unit. Shifting from the mood boards and concept work right through into the walkthrough video, you can really start to see that furniture come to life and carry through all of the different spaces of the home. Looking at the kitchen, you can see these selections definitely set the tone for the rest of the staging in the unit. The darker cabinets really carried through that high impact look I was really going for, as well the wood tones for the wood hood and open shelving definitely gave it a sense of warmth and openness. Carrying that darker blue tone into the rest of the living area, you can see that I paired blue drapes as well as a feature blue sofa. One of the things I really wanted to do in this large open concept living space was define the living room from the dining room. This is why I positioned the sofa right in the middle 
kind of creating a barrier between the two areas. I was also fortunate enough to do custom draperies and pillows in these areas. I found this was a perfect way to bring that blue color into the rest of the room. And when you do custom draperies, you can actually change the length of each curtain so that the dining room curtains could be full height as well as the living room at a little shorter height because of our bulkhead. I also incorporated more tonic living fabrics into both of the bedrooms. This softened up both of those spaces and really helped to layer the textiles in each room. Using these different fabrics and playing with this level of detail really does give it that high-end finish that you don't typically see in just any old cookie cutter show home. My absolute favorite furniture piece in the entire show suite was this canopy bed from CB2. This was my first time ever using a canopy bed. Having seen them on Instagram and through other designers work, I knew it was something I really needed to do in this space. And again, it just goes to show you that you can mix metals. So even though most of our lighting and cabinetry details have that gold finish to them, I love how the black metal on this bed really helps to ground this item. And you can see that black metal being used throughout the rest of the space as well. Moving into the bathrooms, these are areas that definitely can sometimes go by the wayside. The best thing that we did in these bathrooms was incorporating layers of light. Using under cabinet lighting was the perfect way to show task lighting as well as almost amplifying that blue color on the cabinets once again. As I mentioned from the beginning, this was the element and the color that I carried through each room that really leaves a memorable impression as you walk through the space. When it comes to the master bedroom walk-in closet, I debated back and forth on what color the finish should be on the built-in cabinetry in this space. In the end, I decided to go with the wood tones to create more of a warm and inviting feeling in this space. I also found that it helped define the bathroom as its own individual area in the home and then the walk-in closet as its own area as well. Overall, this was one of my favorite units in the entire show home parade. I really loved mixing the light and dark tones throughout the space, as well creating that balance with any of the wood tones really helped to warm it up and carry my furniture throughout the rest of the space. I received such great feedback on all of the custom draperies and custom pillows. This is definitely going to be an item that I'll carry through in future show homes and something that I would recommend to any of my clients moving forward. I was also so happy with the way each of my area rugs turned out. Most of the rugs were actually purchased through Structube, which is a Canadian company. They're such high quality rugs and really helped tie in that rich blue color that I was carrying through each of the rooms. Though this unit is super open concept, I was really happy with the way all of the furniture and accessories work to define each of the spaces, from the dining room having its own china cabinet to the living area having the sofa dividing the two spaces. It works so well together, still feeling open, but having each space defined where it should be. I had so much fun planning and staging the show home. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to check out the rest of the show home videos on my page, as well as all of the other video content I have on my channel. If you like this video, please be sure to like, comment, and share. And of course, click that subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.